everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to do a very quick video just to show you how well um, homemade flaxseed gel works in her hair. I mean I recently started using this and I've noticed a big difference. It keeps her hair, um, her, it makes her curls pop so much more. It uh, helps hold the curls so they can last longer. When it dries, it doesn't dry when it like it doesn't give that hard feeling when it dries and it's just it's so much healthier I think than using chemical like products with chemicals in it it's homemade it's only two ingredients water and flax seeds and that's it and that's how you make it so I'm gonna show you today how awesome this product is so her hair was just washed conditioned and um, I'm going to split it up and start adding the flaxseed gel going to comb out any tangles, any knots, make sure it's nice and detangled. And you want to take kind of small sections. It doesn't have to be too small. Maybe a section like this. And just all you do is take some of the gel and run it through. Okay, so you just take a section, a small section like this. Make sure it's detangled and everything. And then you're going to add your gel. I have just homemade flaxseed gel. It's kind of like a, it's a weird consistency I'm trying to show you you just take some it's a little runny so you want to make sure you have a towel down so it doesn't drip on your clothes or chair or anything like that and you just run it through focus on the ends and look how it makes those curls come out difference between these and this. Just run your fingers through. Come through with a brush, make sure all the hair gets some of that gel. I mean, this works amazing for her hair and really brings out her curls. Because she has two different textures in her hair. She has, like, all around the bottom back here and the top up here she has pretty loose curls and they they usually curl pretty well but right in the middle of her head right up here it's very coarse she doesn't have as defined curls up there so this gel really helps and I'll show you guys um, what I mean when I'm done And you want to use this gel on wet or pretty damp hair. I wouldn't recommend putting it on dry hair. Now, I haven't had much experience putting it on dry hair, but from what I've seen in other videos, uh, I wouldn't do it on dry hair. Focus on her ends. This is just a good natural gel that helps keep the curls in. So when you wanna just let their hair be free and down, this really helps with that. So using products that might have chemicals in it that you don't want in their hair. Now 
this is the, the section of her hair that's more coarse. It doesn't get a lot of curls. With this gel, it really helps define these otherwise not defined curls. Her hair dries very fast. Just gonna wet it just a little bit in my water bottle before I add some gel. can even do smaller sections than I'm doing to get more of a coverage. And the good thing about this gel is that it doesn't leave any residue behind. There's no white flakes that come from it. You can't even tell that it's in there. And I will come back when her hair is all dry and I'll let you guys see what it looks like after it dries. I've also, I've been using this on my youngest daughter's hair where she barely has any hair but it seems to be helping it grow um, from what I've noticed. Since I started using it, her hair seems to be growing more. So that's another good benefit of this. This is another part of her hair that doesn't get very many curls. But as you can see, I put in a little extra here at the front to make these curls even more curly. Yep, pop. Now on the stubborn area, I'm just going to add a little bit more gel to this, since the curls aren't as defined as I want them yet. This is the area of her hair that always seems to be the most trouble when trying to create curls. Alright, there you go. This is her hair with flaxseed gel. It's still wet, of course, so we're gonna come back and we are going to show you what it looks like when it completely dries. But it really helps make her curls stand out more. Usually, if I try to do wash and goes in her hair, they her curls kinda just combine together. They're not as defined. This area back here that doesn't like to curl up just stays a big kind of mess. So I started using Flexi Gel for these wash and goes, just when she wants to leave her hair down and curly, and it's really been helping. So we'll come back and we'll let you guys see it when it's completely dry and see how well it uh, keeps her curls defined. Guys, it a little bit. I did the Flexi Gel with Nova. I wanted, I've been using it on Nova for, uh, I want to say, maybe two weeks. I wanted to try it on my Bean's hair, Nina. I wanted to see, because as you can tell, her hair is so much thinner and um, her hair is actually pretty curly on its own, but her curls don't always stay defined. Um, like I said, she loves to play and she always seems to get this frizzy, extended curl mess in her hair. So I wanna try the flaxseed gel and see how well it works in her hair. Now, I'm not going to be using as much as I did in Nova's, obviously, because her hair is very thin and I don't want to oversaturate it with the gel. But let's go ahead and see how it works with her hair. Her hair is just newly washed, so we're going to just, she doesn't have a lot of hair, so I don't really have to separate it. As you can tell, her hair is very very thin. You can kind of see through to her scalp. It's always been like that. That's actually how Nova's hair started out. And that's how my third child, Ellie's hair is. You can see to the scalp, she doesn't really have a lot. I think about, well, it was about when Nova turned four or five, her hair really started to grow. Seems like Nina's hair is taking a little longer to grow. 
um, maybe it's just more of my type of hairstyle texture because my hair takes very very long to grow and I don't know I don't have many pictures of me as a kid so I don't know how it looked per se but we'll see what happens as she gets older see where, how her hair turns out So the gel seems to be helping create more of a curl in her hair. If I were to just leave it alone. As you can see, that side is pretty curly. This is just her hair by itself. It's pretty curly still, but these curls, they won't hold if I don't put anything in them. And a lot of products either make her hair really crunchy and hard and then some of them don't even just they don't work they just her hair still becomes a big frizzy half curled mess so we're gonna try the flaxseed gel in her hair see how well it works and maybe it'll help one of your little ones if they have similar hair to Nina's Thicken this up around here. Make it look like you got more hair than you got, girl. It's okay, I had thin hair when I was a kid, too. Yeah, kids have thin hair first. How they start out. But little babies, they have no hair when they first start out. That's how they start out. No hair. Alright, so here is Nina's hair with the gel in it. It's still very, very wet. Her hair always looks like this when it's wet, where you can see her scalp and see down and see how thin her hair actually is. Here, you turn your head. It's the back. The back actually looks a lot fuller um, than it usually does when I put other products in it, so that's a good sign. So, we will let her hair dry and then we'll come back and show you what it looks like when it is all completely dry and see how well the flax seed held up in her hair see if it left any residue in her hair just see how it actually worked so you want to say bye bye we'll see you guys soon i'll come back and i'll show you both of their hair when it is completely dry so we'll see you in a second all right guys so this is nina's hair when it is dry as you can see here turn around as you can see, her curls, the Flexi Gel made her curls really curly. They're actually staying in curl form and they're very soft and bouncy. Like I don't feel any gel, like the hard cast over the curls or anything. They're very soft. I put it up because we actually had to run to the store. So I put it up in a little half ponytail with a clip at the top. But as you can see, her curls are very nice. So this. This uh, flaxseed gel works really well in her hair type. All right, well, thank you guys for watching. And that is Nina's hair after flaxseed gel. All right, and this is Nova's hair after the flaxseed gel is, is completely dry. Um, she doesn't have really that hard. She has a tiny bit of the little hard pieces here and there, but it's not as bad as it usually is when we do wash and goes. This gel actually makes her hair very soft and bouncy. If you turn around, they can see the back. As you can see, the curls, like this patch right here, it's still not as defined as the rest, but that's just because of the texture of this hair. Hold on. But as you can see, the curls actually stay, this is a lot better than it normally is when it's just by itself. But you can see her little curls bouncing all over the place. And this is her hair completely dry after the flaxseed gel. All right, guys, and that is going to be the end of our video. I just wanted to show you how homemade flaxseed really works well in um, their hair. And you see there's no, there's no um, residue left behind. There's no white flakes, nothing like that. It's all natural. It's homemade. It's simple. It's just flax seeds and water. You just boil it. And it just works really well in their hair, and it keeps the curls just perfect <laughs> you vogan vogue 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 <laughs> um but yeah i wanted to say thank you guys for watching um and we're gonna have some more videos coming so make sure to stay tuned and look out for those
We'll see you guys next time. Like, Bye. Like, subscribe, comment, and share this video. Bye.